When I think of an inspiring woman, I think of my cousin Janet Collins, my star in the sky, someone who I followed and who was a great example of someone who never gave up. Welcome to Love Black Culture, and this week in Black History, a torchbearer in the arts broke through the glass ceiling, becoming one of the best ballerina artists of all time. Before we get started, we want to thank you for watching. If you love Black Culture, remember to subscribe and like the video. At Love Black Culture, our goal is to educate and celebrate the culture, and we can only do this with your support. If you want to help us out on this journey, please check out our Patreon page and join the culture. Now, let's get to the video. On November 13th, 1951, Janet Faye Collins became the first black prima ballerina to perform with the Metropolitan Opera Ballet in New York City. The title of prima ballerina is awarded to the most notable of female ballerina artists. As a result, she broke one of the major color barriers in classical ballet. Collins was born on March 2nd, 1917 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Though her mother was a seamstress and her father was a tailor, Collins dreamed of becoming a dancer. Collins began to study dance at the age of 10. She would eventually find trainers and three prominent dance instructors, Adolf Blom, Carmelita Marachi, and Mia Slavinska. All three helped Collins hone her craft. However, Collins still found pushback due to her race. After an audition, she was told that for her to be hired, she would have to paint her skin white for performances. Of course, she declined. After years of performing in Los Angeles, Collins gave her first prima ballerina performance on November 3, 1948 at the Los Palmas Theater in Los Angeles. Three years later, she was hired by the Metropolitan Opera as its prima ballerina. She was 34 at the time of the momentous occasion. Collins remained at the Metropolitan Opera until 1954. When discussing why he chose Collins to be his prima ballerina, Zachary Solov, the head of the Metropolitan Opera stated, I want Janet Collins, who happens to be a very, very versatile modern ballet dancer, but you see, not just because she is black, what governed my choice of picking Janet Collins was simply because I knew that I was motivated by her and I thought here was a marvelous dancer. After her career, she taught dance at Valentine School of American Ballet in New York City and at Marymount Manhattan College in New York from 1951 until 1972. Collins' list of works and accolades are long due to her eminent talent in dance. Her works include Cole Porter's Out of This World, Run Little Chillum, and The Mikado and Swing, and her most famous performance, Ida, her accolades include receiving the Candace Award from the National Coalition of 100 Black Women and the Donaldson Award for Best Dancer on Broadway. To recap, this week in history, Janet Collins broke the color barrier in ballet by becoming the first black prima ballerina to perform at the Metropolitan Opera. If you'd like to learn more about Janet Collins, please check out the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want to help us grow, check out our Patreon page and our shop. Thanks again, and talk to you next time.